welcome back to another LSPDFR patrol. Today we're in the 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. This is part of Maurice 97's Blaine County pack. There's a lot of cars to go through in this pack. A few days ago we took a look at the first one in the pack. Today it's the FPIU aka the Explorer. So it's got this really cool light bar. It just goes straight to all lit up. Not, let, not a lot of side visibility here. Not a lot of side mounted LEDs. In the back we got uh, a couple right there. Going to this side, same situation. Dual spotlights. I really like the, the push bar there with the lights on it. I think that's a, a really good addition. And then it has the floodlights on there too. So if we turn those on. We get some additional light if we so need it. Take a look on the inside of the car. This one's pretty well modeled out on the inside. Our laptop with the backlit keys. We can transport people no problem. Hands don't match up, but not really a big concern. I don't drive a lot in first person. Other than that, we're going to be in Grand Sonora Desert today. We'll be taking call outs in Blaine County, performing traffic stops as well. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041, 10 8. Attention all units, we have a driver out of control. Vehicle last seen on Route 68. Units respond code 2. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. We got reports of a vehicle driving a little recklessly. Then secure load. Uh, looks like we're going to be going to the left. We'll try to locate it. A metallic green station wagon. Copy that dispatch. Metallic green station wagon. Uh, so it actually came in from a traffic camera. Spotted a vehicle carrying a load in such a way that it may present a danger to other road users. Attempt to locate the target vehicle. Perform a traffic stop and take action to protect road users from any hazard it may pose. All right. So we've been advised, go ahead and respond code two. So we're gonna do that. It's like the traffic camera picked it up this direction. Panorama Drive. Panorama Drive, copy that. Curious to see what this is gonna look like. In the past when we've caught vehicles with unsecured loads it can it can vary a lot what they're carrying and sometimes it's crazy what they're trying to do with their vehicle try to cut through this way suspect last seen near route 68 okay now it's saying last location on route 68 So metallic station wagon. Did I pass him? I see something way ahead. Yep, I see something. What do we got here? All right, dispatch, we've located the vehicle. I mean, it's it's a lot of stuff. It's not terrible, though. Dispatch Wigan 18, we're gonna be out on a traffic stop with the vehicle in question. Just looks like it has a lot of stuff on the roof rack, couple bikes in the back. Could we get a 1028 on license plate 45 Tom X-ray Young 722? Target vehicle license plate 45 Tom X-ray Young 722, a traffic violation. Copy that. Proceed with caution. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make contact with the driver here. See what's going on. Touch the back real quick. What the heck is this? 
that's the part I'm most concerned about. <laughs> that looks a little janky how that's attached there. How you doing today, ma'am? I'm Deputy Carson with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I'm pulling you over today because of uh, the way you are hauling this load on the top of your vehicle. It's, it's in a way that's not very secure and it could fall off, cause damage to other people on the roadway. So uh, that's the reason. Do you have some ID for me? Take Get a look up. at. Miss Woods, okay. Thank you, Miss Woods. You just hang tight, I'll be right back with you, okay? Thank you for your cooperation. So we're gonna look her up. Just confirm no warrants or anything like that. Her name sounds familiar. I feel like I've stopped her before. We will see. So she is valid, licensed, not wanted, no gun permit. Improper lane change and failure to present res registration. It also appears that her vehicle is not currently valid registration, so we're going to have to talk to her about that. That's probably going to be a ticket. We'll go ahead. I, I'm going to get a contractor out here to take the stuff off because I don't, I don't want her to drive around with it. But I'm going to go ahead and write her a ticket for the expired registration because it seems like she's been fine for that back in 2015 and still is not learning her lesson. So we'll go ahead and create that citation. It's going to be a sedan documentation failure to present registration or expired. There we go. So we'll go ahead add that. There we go. It's going to be $200 fine. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead. I'm going to ask her about the registration as well. All right, ma'am. I'm seeing a registration for this vehicle is expired. Do you have a good reason for that? It's only out by a couple of days. Could you chill about that? Well, actually, when I looked at your record, you've been you've had problems with your registration in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and cite you on that. Uh, so what what is all the stuff you're transporting this way? Got to get rid of these old bikes. So why is it secured in this way? We're well, we strapped it all down. It's OK, isn't it? No, ma'am, not really. It's it's like this back bike is barely on there. So I'm going to get. Um, a contractor out, they're going to take the stuff to where you need it to go. That way we don't have to worry about falling off and you're going to receive a fine for that, um, that expired registration. All right. So they're going to be on the way. I'm going to wait for them to get here first and then I'll go ahead, get her to sign for that citation. All right, here's a truck is going to come pick up the stuff. Hey, what's going on, man? Yep, a couple items for you. I'm glad she was trying to get rid of the stuff, but just hey, kind of seemed like it was not put on there very well. So those items have been taken care of. Ma'am, here's your citation that I mentioned for expired registration. I need you to sign this, not a mission of guilt. You've got a court date as well on the ticket. All right, thank you for your cooperation. All right, dispatch, we're going to be uh, concluded with that traffic stop. Go ahead, show us back 10-8. I'll talk to this guy, see what's going on here. Is he trying to hitchhike or is he just flexing his muscles? Dispatch, we're going to be out with the individual off Route 68. 
Oh, he's flexing. How you doing today, sir? I just noticed you off the side of the road. Are you okay? Just out for a bike ride today? Stretching? Okay. I just, uh, I, I want to make contact with you. Make sure you weren't broken down or anything like that. All right. Well, I won't bother you anymore. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you back to it. You have a good one. First, I thought he might be hitchhiking, but he's just stretching. So we're not going to bother him. No, no real reason to. All right. Dispatch back to Nate. Attention unit one, Lincoln 18. We have an officer in need of assistance on route 68. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Show us 1076. We will be en route. Looks like we have an officer requesting some backup for a traffic stop. Situation currently under control. Please respond. All right. So it's uh, Moving right now. not too far away. Provide some assistance. Like they're gonna be off Route 68, I believe. It's like a motorcycle has been stopped. All right, dispatch wing in 18. We're going to be at uh, 1023 on scene. We're going to make contact with the primary officer. See what's going on. Hey, man, what's up? What took you so long? Guess you had to finish your donut. Yeah, man, I had a delicious glazed donut. So good. Mm. Anyway, this vehicle came up on my ALPR system. Registered owner has an outstanding warrant. Who's going in guns drawn? You or I? All right, you be primary, I'll back you up here. Keep him at gunpoint. Oh, he's fleeing. Why, why are you shooting at him? Dispatch weekend 18, we're gonna be in pursuit of a motorcycle last headed westbound US Route 68. What are you doing? So we'll be primary on this, we'll let secondary call gonna be I believe a white male in a blue shirt on a red and white motorcycle uh, that thing sounds broken or something sounds like it's the red it's continuing to rev really high but it's not accelerating that much I don't know if he got hit or the motorcycle got hit during that exchange. But he is... <laughs> I don't know if he knows how to ride that thing or what's going on. So we're westbound Route 68. He's not wearing a helmet either. Oh, you know what? I wonder if a tire was taken out. He might have hit a tire when he was shooting at him. If he did, man, that is some good aim. That's some really good aim. He's sliding all over the roadway. He's going to crash, man. Good thing is he's pretty limited in his... Come on. Pretty limited in his top speed. I mean, we're not getting beyond 60, 65 miles per hour. I don't know what the warrant is for. Since we didn't actually look them up, we're not gonna know. I'm, I feel like I'm 90% sure this is gonna end in him crashing it himself. Ready? 
Boyne County Sheriff's Office, stop your vehicle. Looks like we're getting caught up behind this RV here. I'm gonna try to go ahead and maybe block them off. Off the bike. Idiot. He's running. Reach for the sky, buddy. He's running uh, on Route 68. Stop or I will blow your He's brain running right. Down. He ran right into the truck. Taser deployed. Go ahead and let him make the arrest here. Just don't want to get him in there. Or crossfire. Dispatch, we had, we are 1095, no one male in custody. Right Let me go ahead, get them off the road right here. No. You have anything else on you I need to know about? We're gonna just search you real quick. Bandana and a Galaxy S8. I'm gonna see if he had warrants out as well. Ballot, no active warrants, all right. So let me go ahead, come back, secure my unit. I think the motorcycle is probably gone by now. It did look like it was missing um, some tires, so that would explain why I was having a hard time keeping control of it. It looks like when that officer fired the initial shots, it did actually hit it. So, uh, man, good shot on that other for that other officer. Hit, Disabling the tires. I thought he was shooting at him, but he was shooting to disable the tires. All right, dispatch will be code four with that call. It's like there's another pursuit going on. I'm gonna join this one. It's like a baller's being chased here. Dispatch, we're gonna be joining in pursuit. We are going to be headed uh, eastbound Route 68. Vehicle occupied one time, I believe. It's like primary officers attempting a pit maneuver. Another pit attempt it. Vehicle continuing to run. Speeds approximately 45 miles per hour. Traffic conditions are light. We're going off. Oh, two occupants fleeing. I'm going to go after the passenger. All right. We are chasing a passenger. It's going to be a black male in a white t-shirt. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my stun gun. Wayne County Sheriff's Office, freeze. He is booking it, man. I will tase you. This is your last warning. If you don't stop now, I'm going to tase you. All right, he's been warned. Uh, oh! 
Taser deployed. Hit him in the butt. LSPD. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You're under arrest. That taser made him comply pretty quickly. All right, dispatch will be 1095. One in custody. This was the, the passenger who bailed. The primary officer took after the driver. And we went after this guy. All right, you got anything illegal on you? Any weapons or drugs I need to know about? Receipt, Pepsi can, stress ball. All right, we're gonna run his information here and we'll get uh, somebody out here to pick him up. Evan Cash, valid license, no active warrants, nothing illegal on him. All we know is that he immediately fled when that, they went to the parking lot and then I, I don't know if they hit a pole or something, but they just bailed out of there real quick. So we're gonna get a unit out here to come pick him up. Uh, that is going to conclude this episode. I hope you enjoyed the 2016 Ford Police Interceptor Utility. Like I said, there's a lot more cars in this pack, so excited to take a look at that. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.